Hello and welcome back to the Arena Productions, where we dive deep into the heart of gaming and entertainment narratives. Today we're breaking down Halo Season 2, Episode 5. It's that time of the week, titled Illyria. Expect spoilers, insights, and my unfiltered opinion on an episode that dares to tread where few have gone before. So let's get into it. So Illyria is an episode that, frankly, I thought would buckle under its own weight. Coming off a high from last week and with a daunting 60-minute runtime, the expectations were as mixed as the series itself. But guess what? It didn't just meet those expectations. It soared above them, weaving a tale of loss, redemption, and the raw, untamed frontier of human emotion in this episode. So, set on what's described as a, a busted mining outpost, this episode is teeming with loss. It's a raw, unfiltered look at our characters grappling with their demons. Soren's search for his son, Riz's recovery, Chief's mourning of Spartan Vanek, and the haunting absence of Reach set the stage for a narrative rich with emotion and complexity. So, what truly sets Illyria apart, I feel, is, is how it handles its characters. Uh, Bokeem uh, Woodbine's portrayal of Soren is nothing short of captivating, delivering a performance that brings a depth to the sorrow and fear for his son's future. Then there's a twist no one saw coming, Kessler's fate, uh, igniting fears of a new Spartan program, and adding layers to the storytelling that Halo desperately needed. And, and l let's talk about the chief i mean the man the myth the legend this episode peels back the layers of propaganda and shows us a john grappling with his identity ultimately choosing the path of the weapon the unsc desires it's a pivotal moment that that not only i think satisfies fans but flips a script in the most delicious way possible so however it's it's not all sh uh, sunshine and roses i think here so the episode's length feels excessive at times, straining the tight narrative efficiency I, I've come to crave from the series, uh, like, uh, for example, Breaking Bad and uh, and Mad Men. And then there's Quan Ha, a character whose place in this sprawling universe still feels uncertain, teetering between pivotal and peripheral. Uh, but when it's all said and done, Illyria is a testament to what Halo can be when it plays to its strengths. It's an episode that not only improves upon the divisive aspects of the series, but also sets a new course for its characters. Halo Season 2 is slowly but surely, uh, I feel, finding its footing, and uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm here for the journey still. So, uh, yeah, so that's going to be uh, it for this review of Halo Season 2, Episode 5. So what did you think? Uh, do you agree? Do you disagree? Uh, let's start a conversation in the comments uh, below uh, in, for this video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for when we drop another review episode of Halo Season 2, as well as all of our other content here on the Arena Productions. So until next time, keep watching, keep gaming, keep watching our entertainment con uh, content, and uh, never stop exploring the stories that bring us together. So have a great week, everyone, and we'll see you next week for the next uh, Halo episode review. Peace out.